The Death Blow of Abernanet, with Explains by the Sage Geocratus Varnus. Broken battlements and wrecked walls, here worship of the horror, one, once embraced. The bites of fifty winters, two, frost and wind, have cracked and pitted the unholy gates, and brought down the cruel obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing more than dust. The blood has dried and screams have echoed out. Framed by hills in the wildest forlorn place of Morrowind sits the barren bones of Abernanet. When thrice blessed Rangidil three first saw Abernanet, it burnished silver bright with power and permanence. A dreadful place with dreadful men to guard it, with fever-glassed eyes and strength through the horror. Rangidil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armagers he led. Watching from the hills above the field and castle of death, while it stood it damned the souls of the people, of Morrowind, a cursed, iniquitous castle Abernanet. The alarm was sounded, calling the holy warriors to battle, to answer Villainy's shield with Justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangidil, too, grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash to shake the clouds down from the sky. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched the ground of the field, a battle like no other of Morrowind, to destroy the evil of Abernanet. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms for Surds, but the three holy fists of Mother, Lord, and Wizard, four, pushed the monster's army back in charge after charge. Rangidil saw from above, urging the army to defend Dagothras, five, himself in his pernicious tower spire, and knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land e'er be truly saved. He pledged then by the temple and the holy tribunal of Morrowind to take the tower of Abernanet. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to fell the spire came to naught, as if all the strength of the horror held that one tower. The stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not ascend it side by side. So single file the army clambered up and up to take the tower room and end the reign of one of the cruelest petty tyrants in the annals of Morrowind, Dagoth Thras of Abernanet. They awaited a victory cry from the first to scale the tower, but silence only returned, and then the blood. First only a rivulet, and then a scarlet course poured down the steep stairwell with the cry from above. Dagoth Thras is besting our army one by one. Rangidil called his army back, every ordinator and buoyant armiger, and he himself ascended the stairs, passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morrowind to the tower room of Abernanet. Like a raven of death on its airy was Dagoth Thras holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door. Every thrust of Rangidil's spear was blocked with ease, every slash of Rangidil's blade was deflected away, every blow of Rangidil's mace was met by the shield, every quick arrow shot could find no purchase, for the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing that no weapon from no warrior found in all of Morrowind could pass the shield of Abernanet. As hour passed hour, Rangidil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dagoth Thras, for he could exhaust them by blocking their attacks, and then, thus weakened, they were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangidil felt even his own mighty arms growing numb, while Dagoth Thras anticipated and blocked each cut, and Rangidil feared that without the blessing of the Divine Three of Morrowind, he'd die in the Tower of Abernanet. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe, I am Rangidil, a prince of the true temple, 
and I've fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and has failed. Very few can anticipate which blow I'm planning, and fewer, knowing that, know how to arrest the design, or have the strength to absorb all my strikes. There is no greater master of shield blocking in all of Morrowind than here in the castle Abernanet. My foe, Dark Lord Dagoth Thras, before you slay me, I beg you, tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Dagoth Thras heard Rangadil's plea, and decided that before he gutted the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife, how his instinct and reflexes worked, and as he started to explain, he realized that he did not know how he did it, and watched, puzzled, as Rangadil delivered what the Tales of Morrowind called the Death Blow of Abernanet. Geocratus Varnus explains. 1. The horror refers to the Daedra Prince Maroon Stagon. 2. Fifty Winters suggests that the epic was written fifty years after the Siege of Abernanet, which took place in Third Era 150. 3. Thrice blessed Rangidil is Rangidil Kettle, born Second Era 803 died 3rd era 195. He was the commander of the temple ordinators and thrice blessed by being blessed by the tribunal of gods. 4. Mother, Lord, and Wizard refers to the tribunal of Almalexia, Vivek, and Sothasil. 5. Dagoth Thras was a powerful Daedra worshipper of unknown origin who declared himself the heir of the sixth house though there is little evidence he descended from the vanished family.